Um, welcome everybody to today's session. I'm Kathy. I'm from Microsoft for Startups and today I'm speaking with Elantharin and we are going to talk everything EdsaNet, which is for educational social network. So Elantharin is going to tell us all about his startup. Um, I'm based in Sydney. Elantharin is coming to us from Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. So um, why don't you tell us all about EdsaNet? Yeah, it's an abbreviation of the additional social network. It's basically, uh, it's incorporated that educators, learners, and uh, educational enterprises together as a social network like LinkedIn. Uh, there are so, so many social networks and social applications here and there, but uh, during the pandemic time, uh, due to the urgency that uh, all the people who have been educators or ed learners or educational enterprises also, and use that existing social network application for the educational purposes itself. At the time itself, I got to know that there is very big uh, voids or very very big potential in that area. And I, that uh, at that time itself, I thought that uh, uh, if I build this kind of uh, applications uh, to inter integrate and interconnect that uh, uh, educators, educ learners, and educator enterprises together with a, a single platform uh, solution, uh, solution provider as a, it's on it. At the time, I just thought initiated uh, from uh, scratch point that uh, first we will interconnect the educators and uh, learners together. Once the uh, potential, that means user interface, user experience and user volumes has been enhanced, Later on, we will interconnect that education enterprises together. Then only that uh, with the both uh, team, that means educators and learners, will get more benefit from the enterprises. At the meantime, mutually, the uh, enterprises also get more uh, target audiences uh, to their application and uh, for their product and services and other, other everything. We are just a platform provider. On, on top of the platform that uh, each and every uh, attendees, attendees means uh, learners or educators or education enterprises can come and together uh, do their stuff and work and uh, their um, application. So whatever thing they can do on top of our platform. Yes, we are the pro pro platform provider, just a social network. In uh, as far as our social network is concerned, it's very sensitive because we are targeting this education. So uh, in, in the sense of education, we should take more uh, concentration or consideration on the topics, uh, content, and uh, there are so many sensitive uh, features that should be there. So we, we are developing each and everything from the scratch, uh, little by little. The reason is, um, while we are taking some of the existing applications API, after some extents, we are unable to do uh, some something as as uh, per our requirement. That's the thing. We are developing everything from the scratch. Let's say, for an example, that uh, there are so many open source applications stack here, and there are XMPP and um, mobile applications, and those app, uh, uh, applications are uh, built from the scratch. Then only we can connect to our existing platform as per as our requirement is satisfied itself. That's a core idea that it may take a little bit of a very long time. For an example, let's say uh, WhatsApp is one of the leading uh, text and video and audio-based communication. But those uh, that, that those kind of application can be built as a clone application from the scratch. So uh, at that it time, like there's, there's so much potential here to do so much, and it's something that you're yeah, obviously yeah. going to be able to, to um, you know, talk about what you've done and what you're going to do at length, which is such a good good sign and place to be for a startup. Yeah. Is yeah. there any, you know, is there a kind of a bullet point list of challenges that you've set out that you think we must overcome these? Yeah, uh, as far as the challenges are concerned, in the technical point of view, there are uh, uh, there are inbuilt applications are there. Even though uh, while we are developing those applications, that uh, main our challenge is uh, uh, cost. Cost means that for the initial setup, we have to spend a lot of money 
to for the uh, expert uh, expertise uh, for the expertise and uh, human resources as well as uh, server and other other uh, hosting providers uh, charges so that is uh, first first and very big challenges that uh, we are facing from sri lanka uh, but anyhow we are we are hosting each and every technologies from uh, america us and uh, some other applications from uh, india even though that uh, we are facing the challenges one first challenge is lack of uh, technical experts in sri lanka that we are facing those kind of uh, experts uh, hiring from uh, freelancers in india and other uh, spaces second thing is uh, fund and uh, in for example let's say even right now we don't have any um, uh, fund like uh, seed investment or incubation or whatever thing so uh, that's a very big challenge we are facing right to bring to the uh, even my, even to the market itself before the pandemic they are all we do have some several uh, businesses here and there so from the businesses we are, we take some fund and did something after the pandemic time uh, that uh, business is uh, uh, not much rich at all that's uh, that's one of the ch challenges and uh, risk at all and at the meantime while while we are uh, coming together with uh, microsoft uh, the exposure is very big one thing second thing is the potential and what are the features what are the product we are going to to the industry market whole concept can be understood by the team that's very 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 uh, good point good view from our end and second uh, thing is uh, while, while we are taking to the uh, to, uh, to the market for uh, for an example uh, at up to now Uh, here, here in this area, nearly seven trillion dollars market cap is here. So, if we have uh, developed and uh, produced this our product to the market, definitely we can capture major area, major uh, potential area to the market. Because uh, while we are providing that uh, social education social network, it basically localized educational system first. Monday, and do you find that with being in the Microsoft for Startups program that those issues yeah. that you um, talked about, you know, for instance, the lack of technical um, resources in Sri Lanka, possibly the expense of starting up a startup, um, yeah. I know that that's something that Microsoft for Startups, our flagship program, hopes to achieve yeah. in that we provide credits, licenses and stuff like that to try and take that off, off your plate. But also okay. um, in the Microsoft Highway to 100 Unicorns program, we do offer the technical support. Have you been able to sort of avail of that and um, scale up your technical team that way? Or was there a different um, experience that you've had so far in the Highway to 100 Unicorns program? Yeah, uh, in that, uh, while I have attended the Conduct Unicorn pro program, uh, two uh, weeks, uh, two or three weeks before, we have met one of the uh, leading C CTO from Microsoft. He has given uh, so much of uh, ideas how we are optimize the technology to uh, bring that product to the market and what are the uh, uh, inbuilt technology which has provided from the Microsoft can be used. For an example, one of the examples is Open AI. Open AI, Open AI is a very uh, supportive uh, product to integrate our chat box and other things. So, and uh, while we are optimizing the wallet of our uh, social network, we are using the artificial intelligence system to optimize and screen the uh, content. So there are so many uh, tips and guidance were, were given from the Microsoft end. At the meantime, uh, uh, in my architecture, I have started so many open source in Laravel, PHP, and other things. So while we are developed those things, uh, from uh, we build the API and connect that uh, API to Microsoft uh, indi integrated API. And so uh, there are so many tips they have given to us to uh, boost up and uh, speed up our product uh, to the market. So uh, definitely Microsoft uh, gave us a great support at all. At the meantime, that uh, our, our big uh, growth uh, to the, to the, for our startup to the market is while we are interconnecting the enterprises and the enterprises facility to enjoy the uh, users, le learners or educators, at the time itself, we can uh, uh, achieve the big 
growth at all because Microsoft is providing the facility uh, features and application to uh, ground uh, so that means uh, from the uh, ordinary users to corporate users. So Microsoft is providing uh, all those facilities. So uh, at that, uh, so uh, that's the thing. Uh, uh, Microsoft will help in uh, for our product throughout the time, no doubt at all. And when you are building um, on Microsoft and you know making these decisions, what sort of criteria do you have around the technical side of things for your uh, product specifically? Yeah, uh, specifically in my product, uh, first I use some uh, AWS for my application. Now, uh, after the discussion with the CTO, I got to know uh, there are uh, so many sophisticated applications, sophisticated platform available in Azure. So I have now changed several uh, platform changes in our architecture uh, by using Azure as a cloud provider. Uh, and uh, some sort of uh, costing that mean fire hot hot storage. I use Wasabi, W A S A B I dot com. Wasabi is one, one of the hot storage. Now, uh, after the discussion with CTO, I have tweeted uh, some other uh, applications and some other hot storage in Azure and some other things in Wasabi. So, after the discussion itself, we have changed several architecture within our uh, product and. Uh, Totally, the COVID-19 has uh, affected or transformed our business. Uh, totally, that uh, need, need for that the digital education has been boosted. That's one other thing. So, uh, our, as far as the marketing cost is concerned, why after the pandemic or COVID-19, the marketing cost is, will be very less because almost all the students are familiar with it. Uh, digital education platform and the digital education features at all. So it will be easy for us to adapt our system to the uh, younger generation or next generation. At the meantime, uh, we are thinking about some uh, uh, restriction and uh, content, uh, quality of content, content which is provided to do our, through our network, through our social network. So uh, those kind of uh, backend application is being built right now. Once everything is over, we will take it to the market, uh, first Asia and uh, uh, North America and uh, Europe, no, Europe and Australia as well. Well, it sounds like you're sort of living by your own book there in terms of what it means to share information and kind of um, get further when you collaborate. You know, yeah, as yeah. you mentioned there, that speaking to a CTO to kind of illuminate things that you didn't know that you didn't know. Yeah. Um, is absolutely what Etsynet is is all about. You know, people kind of getting together, sharing their services and sharing their knowledge throughout the network, um, yeah. and and sort of helping people who are on the platform um, go further faster. So, so thanks so much for joining us today, Lantheran. Um yeah. It's been a pleasure to meet, and you know, we'll check in again and see how your time with the program is going. But thanks for your time today. Thanks, 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 Lord. Thanks for the interview. Yeah. Okay, see you. See you, see you. Bye.